Hello everybody! Time for another painting. Today is going to be kind of a little kind of silhouette forest theme with a big orange moon somewhere in this area here. We're gonna have some like distant trees and then closer trees and some little spooky ghosts floating up out of the trees. That is the plan. I also have various things to discuss today. So we will also have actual talking points while I describe what I'm painting. And yeah, so I am going to get started. So my canvas is a mess, or my uh, palette is a mess as per usual. I need to clean it again. But here we have some scarlet, mid yellow, ultramarine blue, and here we have black. Um, way too much black because I don't think we're going to need that much. But we're also, at the end, going to use just a little bit of white over here. <laughs> um, but I think that's it. I don't think we'll need any other colors. This painting is going to be primarily shades of blue. So let's, I guess, just hop right into painting now. Alright, I have mixed up a nice kind of stormy blue. And we are just going to paint most of the canvas this color. Can you guys see the top? I believe so. There we go. I moved it up just a little because I think at this point seeing we're not even going to go all the way to the bottom with this. Now I will have to do two coats here because this paint is just very thin and I've said that before. Um, and that is again just the nature of certain paints. They are transparent or translucent. I can never remember which it is, but you guys know what I mean. They're smart cookies. So I'm just mixing up a bit more paint. And I'm essentially just mixing blue, white, and black together to get a nice, with a little bit of like an orangey red because orange is opposite blue on the color wheel and so if you add just a bit of orange to blue it does help to gray it out um, just a little bit and that gives you a more stormy fall-esque blue so I'm gonna just slap this paint on there. Not really going to worry about little lighter areas because again I am going to pause this, go blow dry this layer here and then come back in with another layer of this blue here. And I believe that's the point we're at so hold please. Okay that's the second layer done. So now we basically just mix up again a darker blue. We don't want it to be black. We want it to be a very very dark blue. I am again going to add, now to you guys unfortunately on the screen it's probably going to end up looking black but in person it is a very, very dark blue. Let's see if I can... Yeah, it just looks black on the brush, but... It is extremely dark. It is almost black. And I'm going to switch to a different brush, a little angled one, because we are going to be adding in the silhouettes of trees. Actually... I forgot that I want to do the moon, so we're going to use this mason jar lid and just kind of, oh, the lid broke. I'm not even sure if this is, this pencil is working on there. Okay, yes. So I just went ahead, I'm not sure you guys can see that, but I went ahead and drew the moon in because the trees are supposed to kind of come up a little bit over the moon. And it's going to be so much easier to paint over the moon than to try to paint a light colored moon over the darker trees. So I'm going to grab a little filbert brush. I am going to go over to my palette 
and mix up a little orange. So I've mixed up my orange here. I'm trying to figure out where you guys are. There we go. And I'm just going to carefully put that down. I know this looks very bright, and it is, because I'm thinking, like, harvest moon, fall, I want it to be very, very orange, and I'm probably, again, going to have to do two coats of this because of the dark blue underneath, but I know if I put the moon down first, having to try to go around it would end up a catastrophe, so I opted to go ahead and put the dark blue also, I think it'll add a little bit of depth to this orange once all is said and done. And now the trick is just to stay within the circle that I created, which I'm not going to lie. I'm not great at. My hands are shaky, <laughs> as I'm sure you've noticed. But you know what? I think we did good enough. It's not 100% perfect. <laughs> That's okay. It'll still look okay at the end, I think. So, okay. That's where we're at with the moon. And like I said, I will eventually come in and do a second coat there. Um, I might make it a little bit lighter. I kind of think that's a little too orange, maybe for me, what I wanted it to be. I think I want to blew it down just a little bit more, make it a little more hazy as opposed to true orange. So I think I'm going to mix that color up and then I'll come back and we will go over the moon again. And yeah, so one more second. All right, here is the updated orange. Let's see if that looks better. Mm, maybe. I think I just want to torture myself by having to go over this again. And I'm not really even going to worry about covering up all the dark because we're going to go in and add darker spots in just a second anyway. So it's okay. I don't really want like dark blue showing through, but some of this darker edge here isn't really a big deal and the cool thing is anywhere I mess up I can just put trees over it so all right now this is gonna sound odd and I'm not sure if it's going to work with it being this wet but I am going to use a very pale blue to add in some of the craters and dips in the moon's surface. There we go. I think that looks nice. And just a little bit more over in here. And now I did use a reference image for this that I found on Pinterest. Um, However, I looked at it, forgot to save it, and so I'm not sure at all how much this is actually going to end up looking like what that image looked like. Probably not at all. So, I am really bad at remembering to bookmark things that I want to try to paint, which I guess is okay because it forces me to just do it from memory and kind of work it out for myself. I'm just adding a few little darker spots randomly. Okay, I think I feel like it needs to have like some little lighter areas too though. I'm just going to add some white to the colors that I already have mixed up to my lightest 
yellow orange color here and then just come in maybe mostly on this edge and just kind of like blur it over it in see how fast acrylic paint dries oh my gosh and again I have slow dry medium that I could be using but why would I make my life easier guys ask yourself that question all right I think that'll work for our purposes here. Although I feel like this needs to come out. There we go. Okay, guys. Just gonna let that. Maybe. Alright, yep, I'm just gonna let that dry because I can feel that it's going to start lifting out the paint. So I'm going to dry the moon and be back again. Alright, I got the moon dry. That's as good as I can get it for right now. I have mixed up again that very, very, you can kind of tell. Again, very dark blue. And I'm just going to kind of come in and start putting in the vague shapes of some trees in here. I just wish this paint was more opaque. Oh my gosh, guys. I obviously need to just give in, I guess. It just, it sucks to buy paint and it not be as good as you're expecting. So I'm just going to go ahead, I guess, and like put these in real quick because I'm going to, it doesn't matter. I'm going to have to go over all of this again anyway. Which is, like I said, I am a little frustrated by that because I wasn't planning to have to do three coats of every paint. But that's okay. That's okay. What can you do? I'm just going to bring that dark color down too because we're going to have a new line of trees down under here anyway. So, like the problem with having a ring light is that I can't see <laughs> my painting very well, honestly. Um, it casts a pretty bad reflection. I'll just go ahead and get this blue in there. We'll worry about the rest of it in just a second here. So while I'm doing this, I guess I could talk about some of the things that I mentioned that I did want to talk about. First of all, again, thank you so much to everybody who has subscribed to me recently. I appreciate it so much, and it's so amazing to me because I just, I never expected, I believe, as of today, which is October 4th, 2023, um, I am at... I believe 186 subscribers and now I know 
in the scheme of things, that's not a crazy number to most people. But to me, it absolutely is because I never, ever, ever expected that. I just, I'm blown away. Thank you all so much for your comments. I, the encouragement, I, I really appreciate it more than you guys know. And it just, it means the world to have so many people who don't even know me supporting me because for a long time my channel, and I appreciate the people who do know me too. I don't want them to take that the wrong way. I, I love you guys and I appreciate all of you, but I just really always kind of expected that my channel would mostly be comprised of that, of people who know me and that no one who didn't would want to watch me do this. So I, I'm just amazed that I've gotten this far. And if I never gain <laughs> a single, I'm just, I'm not, you guys aren't missing anything. I'm just putting down this blue. Um, if I never gain a single more subscriber or whatever, however you want to word, I guess, I'm so happy and so just blown away. Like I, I really am. And I hope that sounds sincere because it really is. Um, let me get back to this painting so I don't bore you guys too much. I'm going to go just do the second coat on this because I'm sure you don't want to watch me do the same thing over and over again. And when I come back, we will do the foreground, which is just going to be some taller, blacked out trees. And paint in some little ghosties, maybe sprinkle a few stars up in here, and then this painting will be done. It's a very simple painting. If you've been thinking about painting with me, I feel like this is the perfect one. Um, you need very few tools. You need an angled brush, a smaller angled brush. You need a filbert style brush, and then a big, either a mop brush or a big flat brush. And then really you need ultramarine blue, black, white, and orange. And you could do this painting, so. I'm going to go dry this, do the second coat, and then I'll come back. All right, so I went ahead and got that second layer done. And while we're here, I'm actually going to go ahead and put in some stars because it'll be easy to touch up this area here if it splatters down there. And there we go. I'm not sure you can see that, but I will show a close-up, of course, after I'm done with the painting. And so now we're going to basically just take pure black and uh, draw some, like, or paint some taller trees up here in the foreground that are completely silhouetted from the light from the moon. And you can't tell, but this here is lighter. These trees are a little bit lighter than these here because, you know, the light from the moon hitting them but I'm going to lower my camera and then we will start this little part here. Okay, let's get started with the black trees. Now they are just going to be, in this case, pure black. Um, I think this is dry, yes. And they're going to be tall. So we are going to lift my canvas up out of this little divot and we're just going to First, I'm just going to paint this little corner down here black just to kind of get it out of the way, blend it into that blue. Okay, so I've talked about how I am amazed at all the subs that I've gotten when I didn't even, ex I never expected to even make it to 50. Um, and I, like I said, it just means the world. And I'm going to keep repeating that because I, I want you to believe it. Um, I do post my paintings on TikTok as well. And I have gotten some com or messages on there from people asking about purchasing my paintings. Which is wild to me. And so rather than make a video on there talking about it. I thought I would just make a video here and then my YouTube or my uh, TikTok is linked or my YouTube is linked on my TikTok. So we're going to talk about that 
in just a minute. All right, and we're on to the big tall trees here. I went ahead and dried or painted the bottom there black. And then we're just going to use the tip of our brush and start doing this a bunch of times, essentially making some longer branches, some shorter ones all the way down and this won't stand out especially on the screen probably so much but you can see it perfectly in person um so back to what i was talking about i feel weird mentioning selling my paintings because again they're i it's hard. I, I have I have before, as I mentioned, I, I have sold paintings before, but it's always weird to me. And so it, it's even more strange to imagine selling them to my viewers <laughs> that I never thought that I would have. <laughs> but because there have been people interested, I am going to throw it out there. So how we're going to go about this is... I have set up an email address that is just for YouTube. It is, I will put it on the screen as well, but it is Tiffany, and in the description, it is Tiffany Denise, spelled like it is on here, YT, as in YouTube, at Gmail. And if you are interested, and if not, I totally get it. This is like, I 100% <laughs> do not really expect anyone to buy my paintings but if you are interested in buying them for yourself or maybe a loved one who you think is into spooky paintings then you can email me on that email address and I can either make a private eBay listing and we can do it that way if you are more comfortable with that of course or we can do it directly. I'd rather do the eBay thing because that way you guys are protected. I am protected. I think it's just, in general, the safest way to go for everybody. Again, totally don't have to buy anything from me. I 100% just appreciate the views. So you you really don't have to. Um, just if you if you want. <laughs> Um, the pricing is going to depend on the content of the painting, not the size of the canvas. Because I think a lot of people expect that an 11, this is an 11 by 14, that an 11 by 14 canvas is going to automatically cost less than a 16 by 20 inch canvas, which is not the case because it depends on how complicated the painting is. For instance, this one is an 11 by 14, but at the end of it, it's going to be a relatively simple painting. However, I could paint a 9 by 10 inch painting that requires a lot more time, a lot more skill, a lot more paint even so obviously in that situation there the 9 by 10 is going to cost more than this 11 by 14 so that's kind of how pricing has worked with me in the past when I sell paintings and I like to make sure people understand that that's how I do it I feel like that's the most fair for me is the most fair for the customer if they understand like hey if you want a very simple painting it's going to cost less if you want a more intricate painting it is going to cost more obviously shipping will cost more for the bigger paintings though in general um and of course i'm willing to work that out with anybody should they be interested but it's going to be kind of first come first serve i don't as far as holding paintings for people I'm willing to work with you if, for instance, you tell me that you are super interested in purchasing this painting here 
and I paint it and post it on a Wednesday and you don't get paid until the following Friday. I will be more than willing to hold this painting until Friday for you. At that point though, if you if I do not hear from you Friday, as of Saturday, I will either just consider it not sold and give it to somebody else if they're interested or just keep it um, until I hear from you, but it will no longer be on hold. So that's how that's going to work and I hope that makes sense. And if you have questions again, you're free to email me and ask, you know, for clarification. So yeah, that is that. Um, I would prefer payments be made over PayPal again. Just keep you safe, keep me safe. If anyone does purchase a painting, I will likely ship it out within four days. If for some reason I cannot do that, I would contact you immediately and let you know that there is a delay. And if that's okay with you, then we will just... I will ship it. I'll let you know when I plan to be able to ship it out. It will always be within a week. No matter what, it'll always be within a week. Barring any crazy life situations. So, that's that. Um, again, I will post the... In case I forget to put it on screen, I will definitely put the email address in the description. Okay, there is the basis of the painting done. I know it is hard to see this here. Let's see if I can just the lighting for you yeah it's hard to see um in the the camera but in person it is very obvious that there are darker trees here um so now the only step left i'm gonna paint like i said a couple little ghosts i think kind of rising up out of that area back in there and maybe a couple little bats or birds or what have you in the sky. And I think I'm going to call this painting done, honestly. So again, this is a very simple, very quick painting for me. But all right, let me mix up my white and I will be right back. Again, I keep saying that. Sorry, guys. I will, though. Okay. We are going to go ahead and swipe in our little ghosts here. I am mixing up kind of a bluey white because I want them to have, I want them to look kind of shadowed. I don't want necessarily, or I want some like, mm, yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think I want some kind of like distant ghosts and then we'll do some also closer up. You'll see what I mean in a second here. So there's that little guy who's kind of far away. making some that are even darker to show that and smaller to show that they're even further away and then let's see hmm maybe one right there okay and then we're gonna go back to a brighter color. This guy, he looks a little close. So let's just go ahead and make him brighter because he looks like he's closer to us anyway. So let's go ahead and make him a closer one. That's what he wants to be. See, I feel really awkward even mentioning selling my paintings to you guys, but like I said, people on TikTok have asked me about it and I keep just saying I'm not sure yet, but I figured I might as well make a decision and at least throw it out there. If no one wants it, then they don't want it, and that's totally fine. But on the off chance someone is interested, then they have the opportunity, and it's just an opportunity if, if you want. 
Um, I don't want you feeling like you have to by any means. I don't feel that way. I'm not going to be upset or disappointed if no one buys anything. Your support on here on TikTok or wherever is more than enough for me to be happy. But yeah. Just a little make this guy white like he's far away but he's gonna be white because he's up by the moon um yeah i don't know i feel like i'm repeating myself now because i feel awkward <laughs> for mentioning it mm. but that's okay and i think we're gonna do one bigger ghost here because this area is just boring to me. Let me grab a bigger brush for this guy. And obviously though it does go without saying that if you want to buy a painting you're going to have to be okay with giving me your name and address. That's why I prefer PayPal because again just that security of knowing that nothing crazy is going to happen and that your money and information is protected. So yeah, anyway, that's enough about that. I've really been enjoying making these painting videos. I stopped painting for such a long time after my mom passed away because it just she was always the first person that I showed them to and so when she was no longer here I don't know it felt weird to paint um in a weird way like I was I don't know if betraying her is necessarily the right word and I know she would have wanted me to keep doing it I I know that 100% she would have she, well, I wasn't supported a lot in my creative endeavors as a child. My, both of my parents have, have been supportive of me as an adult, as far as painting and stuff goes. So, um, she, my mom loved my paintings. She was very proud of them. She bought several of them. And honestly, I think it was just her way of like helping me out in life, but. Either way, I appreciate it. And my aunt bought a lot of them. Which makes me sad because, you know, things happen with families, but that's okay. I don't like the shape of this ghost and I can't quite get it right. There, we're gonna call that good. And then... Swipe in a bit of decal for his little sheet. Um, yeah, anyway, I've been enjoying painting and having this outlet again because. It was very important to me when I started painting and I first got into this. I, I really loved it. It was very relaxing for me. It made me, it distracted me because I have a lot of anxiety in general and having the paintings took my mind off that definitely. So I'm happy to be back into it. And I'm happy to share kind of my, I guess, creative process with other people. And I, I hope, and maybe this sounds, I, I don't know, maybe it sounds egotistical. I really hope that I inspire somebody to paint if they've always wanted to and have been too afraid because they don't think they'll be good. Because I'm certainly not the best. And I do it anyway, because I want to, and I like it. Man, that's just not working out for me right there, is it? Oh, gosh. See?
stuff like that happens. So what I'm going to do, if you can see any of that, I'm going to go ahead and pause, blow dry this, paint the white and fix where I just messed up right there, and then carry on. Alright, and as you can see, he is fixed. I'm going to try and very lightly just kind of like stamp my brush into these little holes just to give them a little bit of extra depth to them. Nothing crazy, just a little bit more depth in like the folds. And smooth it down with my finger. Because I just feel like that's like the best way to blend. Okay, I'm going to give him, the rest of these guys are meant to look like they're going away, but I think I'm going to make him looking at us like, why are you guys spying on us, hmm? So, a couple little eyes, uh, and I guess maybe a couple little birds in the sky. There we go. It's little crooked eyes. Because again, he's a ghost. And that's alright. Now that I'm done with him, I'm just going to come in here and kind of like swoop a few dark little lines up into them so that they have a little bit of dimension as well. Just a few. I don't want these to be too detailed because they're so far away. So you really wouldn't see much on them. So a little bit. And these guys back there really wouldn't have much of any. So, I think that's it for I'm trying to find my little mm, oh, there's, liner brush. To do a few little birds or bats or however you want to look at them in the sky here. And I think that's it. And I'm sure you can see that last little part. I think I'm going to call that good. I'm going to zoom you out. And I'm going to call that. I'm going to sign it. I'm going to have to sign it on the left. I usually sign on the right. But there's a ghost here. Well, we'll see. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every single view. I appreciate every single subscriber. I appreciate all of it. Just more than you could possibly know. I hope you take care of yourselves, take care of your loved ones, and thanks for spending a little bit of time with me. I'll catch you soon. Bye! And here is the overview of the finished painting. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day, evening, night, whatever it happens to be for you, and talk to you soon. Bye!